Hey guys, so I have a busy day full of all sorts of art related activities. I'm not the kind of guy who usually makes lists, although I probably should be. Um, so let me show you what I got going on. Okay, so I've got to get groceries, I've got to varnish some paintings, buy some sunscreen, deliver some work to show gallery in Berkeley, paint some cityscapes, go to the closing reception at Studio Gallery, pick up some paint at Blick, and edit this vlog. Okay, so that's a lot to do, so I'm gonna get started. I'm also dog sitting. This is Sammy, and Henry's the one eating grass. I'm gonna varnish first so that these paintings will be dry by the time I get home from shopping so I can frame them up. Retouch varnish as usual. Oh, mustn't forget to pay my taxes. One of the things I think that takes a while to get used to as a, you know, when you paint full time, it's just sort of the f major fluctuations in your finances. I mean, when you have a regular job, uh, there's a certain, you know, obviously there's security in having that check that comes in, um, you know, that comes in every week or every two weeks or whatever. Um, it takes a little getting used to, to have, you know, having bigger fluctuations. You have a big show and then the money goes up and then it starts going down, 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 down. And then you have another show and you just hope that it does well. But in the meantime, there's all these expenses and, uh, you know, so. But hey, that's, you know, comes with the territory. I went to the post office and used their automated machine to get stamps and it gave me Christmas stamps. It's kind of like listening to Christmas music in April. There's something wrong about that. So I live near San Francisco International and uh, friends and family like to park their cars here and get free rides to the airport. Uh, but know this people, if you leave your car here, I will use it for errands. So first stop is the post office to mail my taxes. Painting in public can make you self-conscious, but vlogging is worse. So I just gotta get the essentials. I need some canned beans. Okay, so now I need bananas and avocados. So vlogging is cool if you're like a teenager, but if you're a full-grown man, it's sort of questionable. People are talking on their phones, so why can't I talk to a camera? So last time I was out painting, I left my sunscreen on the top of my car. So as you guys probably know, I make my own floater frames. I use these scraps of uh, masonite and cardboard as spacers to make sure that I've uh, centered the canvas in the frame before putting the screws in. As usual, I measure down a third of the way from the top of the uh, frame for the picture wire. I'm just using uh, pan head screws instead of D rings because I think they work just as well. And then I just use a charcoal pencil to uh, write the title my name and the date on the back of the painting. Once I've got the paintings all framed up, I just line them up and take a look and make sure everything looks okay. Hey buddy. So normally I wouldn't go to Berkeley on a Saturday uh, it's not that far in miles, but uh, you got to cross a bridge, and so on the weekends there's a lot of traffic.
Okay, so I dropped off the work and I was thinking of painting over in Berkeley, but it's just there's so much traffic today. So uh, I'm heading back over into San Francisco and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, like where I'm gonna paint, but uh, who knows, maybe the financial district, I haven't done that. I don't think I've painted there, so uh, that could be that could be cool. So we'll see. Not sure what's going on over there. Wow, so it's three o'clock already. I'm starting to get hungry. Uh, I'm trying to decide if I should stop by the show first or get something to eat. Um, probably won't get painting until about five o'clock, but. The shadows are starting to look really good, so that's not really a problem. Wow, it's really nice out. It's not too windy, really nice temperature. Okay, so it is like five o'clock and I've done everything on my list except paint a painting. So I'm here in the Russian Hill area and I'm just gonna walk around and kind of see if I can find something to paint. I've got a 12 by 12 panel and a couple of eight by eights. So we'll see what I can come up with. So I am walking up to the top of Russian Hill and I'm gonna to try to get a view of the bay. So uh, we'll see, but the light is definitely changing quickly. So I'm gonna to have to make a decision. Okay, so I'm here on Jones Street and I'm gonna to need to, uh, I think I'm gonna to need to go for it here. I'll show you what I'm looking at. So just a typical street scene here. Okay, so I'm gonna have to work super fast. I've just sketched this in in burnt sienna. If I can pull this off, it's gonna be a miracle. I'll show you what I got. So I forgot my small brushes, so I just kind of like roughly sketched this in with a large brush. So there were a lot of challenges with this one. Uh, when I was leaving this morning, I looked at the paint and it looked okay, but uh, it had all skinned over, so that was kind of a drag. Um, and uh, yeah, just the usual challenges of city painting, honking horns and <laughs> all that stuff. But anyway, uh, yeah, we'll go back and take a look and see how it came out. I got a feeling the boys are gonna be happy to see me. Hey boys. <laughs> okay, so here's what I came up with. And this is a 12 by 12 inch panel just to give you some idea of the scale. And uh, I was working quickly. I think I spent about an hour. Um, I was just trying to focus on big shapes and trying to capture a feeling of light. Uh, there were a couple challenges. One, I was between two cars so I couldn't easily back up and uh, view the painting from a distance, which is really helpful to make sure things, you know, like the composition is working and, and just that the painting is working overall. Um, another challenge I had was I sort of struggled to mix a color for these buildings to the left. There were yellow buildings, but they were in shadow. And um, that's often, yellow objects in shadow is often a difficult um, color for me to mix. So anyway, um, yeah, just tried to keep it simple and work quickly. And um, so that's what I came up with. So this is one of those times where I was pleasantly surprised with the results. Uh, while I was out there, I was struggling. I felt like the colors might be too dark or too muddy. Um, also, I wasn't able to really film much of the process. I mean, I filmed it, but when I got home and was looking at the footage, I realized there was a lot of glare on the panel. And sometimes the, the liquid is really glossy, so sometimes it'll create glare. Um, but yeah, so, it was, it, was, it was definitely a struggle just because of the time limits. And then also it was Friday night in the city. So there was like people like blasting by me on motorcycles. And you know, it was very, it was pretty noisy and a lot of distractions, but overall still did meet some nice people, had a good time. And uh, so, yeah, so overall not bad. And that's definitely a spot I'd like to go back to because I think that composition is pretty, I like the composition. So I'd like to paint that view again. 
So anyway, um, that's it for this video. Uh, as usual, big thanks to my Patreon supporters. There's a link to Patreon in the description below. And thanks so much for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next video.